One thing I'm going to do different when I make have it cheese is I'm going to buy whole block cheese instead of buying these slices of cheese because now that I have a re whatever her name is pioneer woman grater I'm going to grate my own cheese and buy it'll be cheaper if I buy the big chunks These are super thin, so I'm going to have two. microwave Sometimes I put onions in or green peppers, whatever I have available, but today it's just going to be plain. And I'm never going to buy these tortillas again because they are so thin. I don't remember where I bought them. I went to the store that's called, um, I guess it's called Nature Store or something? Nature Grocery. And it's just like a health food grocery store. And I got the best organic tortillas there. I have to go back and get more. And they were so yummy and fresh and thick. I think they were from California. Best ever I've ever had. Mmm. It's good. It's going to be 50 degrees by about noon or one today in Colorado. It's about 11 o'clock it's sunday and i'm having my breakfast a little late but what i'm discovering since i've been here in colorado since september and it's now february september was really hot and then winter came and i discovered that it's not that bad in the winter here compared to chicago so what i do is i have to dress twice during the day in the morning, I will wear warm clothes, heavier coat if I'm going out. And then when it gets to 50, by afternoon, I got to switch out of a sweater, put something lighter on, and 
wear a lighter coat. When I was in Chicago, I never had to do that because it was always cold. And one thing I'm noticing about Colorado is it's always sunny. Like February right now, the sun is out. In Chicago, maybe there's a little sun coming out. Mm-hmm. If at all. I remember when I was there at the end of January to the beginning, all of February actually, all of February, I just wanted to escape the darkness and dreariness of Chicago and just fantasize that I was going to a, an island with a beach and constant sunlight every year. Now, I'm not feeling that over here because I'll take you along on a walk I'm going to go on and you're going to see how nice it is. I think I heard that Colorado has the most sunniest days of the year. And I believe it. I really do. All right, let me get to back, back to you later. Outfit of the day. Leggings. I lost weight guys and I'm so happy. Um, due to the fact that I had a very bad knee, I was not able to exercise. First year was COVID, 2020. Didn't want to go in a gym, wasn't motivated to exercise in my condo even though I had a treadmill and a bike depressed couldn't do it I just need stimulation and music and people anyway that was the first year second year 2021 around spring I want to say March maybe uh, I was walking a dog big German Shepherd baby German Shepherd that was not properly trained and was not properly walked and I felt bad for him. He was a friend's dog. I walked him and he was pulling me and my right knee just went. Osteoarthritis. I was fine until then. That one event made my knee go out. So from Spring of 2021 all the way till December 17th, 21. No exercises, not even walking. Uh, it was so painful to even do anything. Gaining weight, gaining weight. I wasn't overeating, but I, I do have to say it was just not the perfect setting for me. So, I mean, I dreamt of walking. I would look at people walking and I thought, why can't I walk? I wanna walk, I wanna walk. Couldn't do it. I just did the bare necessities like getting to the grocery store or having my groceries delivered, blah, blah, blah. So it's been gonna be two months, just Jan February 17th, it'll be two months since my knee surgery. And um, the first two weeks I had in-home um, physical therapy which was tremendous. It helped me so much. Two weeks I did not go out anywhere. She came in twice a week and had me do some exercises and taught me how to do my exercises, which I did religiously. My knee turned out so nice. It was not stiff. I wasn't walking with a walker or a cane after the two weeks. She said I was doing amazingly good. Religiously, I was doing all of my exercises, and it hurt sometimes. Now, here we are, February 13th, one day before Valentine's Day, and I don't have a boyfriend. I uh, left my boyfriend in Chicago when I moved up to Colorado in September. Things were not going good anyway. But anyway, now I am walking more. I'm losing a little weight. I'm eating better. I have a much better attitude, I'm not in constant pain, and um, things are getting better. So I just 
water to show off my weight. A little bit of weight loss, a little bit, but it'll get there. It'll get there. All right, let's go out for a walk. Right, guys essentials for when you're here in Colorado taking a hike the hat now I have a base a baseball hat Colorado University no I did not go there I went to Illinois but anyway sunglasses layers if you need to take I need to take the vest off I will take it off it's almost too warm it was 55 degrees according to my car I have boots on just it's kind of slushy in some parts of the path, so you always have to be careful that your shoe wear is going to get slushy and dirty. So I have a pair of old boots that uh, uh, only one has stains on the one side of it and the other one doesn't. So the other one looks pretty new and the other one doesn't. So I don't know how I'm going to get that clean, but today was a perfect way to perfect day to wear those. Another thing, essential, essential, don't forget water water because you're in the high altitude which is like 5000 feet or something i'm 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 at the foothills of the rockies i'm not up in the rockies which gets higher but this is where it is and it takes a while for some people to get used to this altitude it took me several months and I noticed when I got here, like the first couple of days, I was always thirsty, always thirsty. So my son taught me how to like hydrate all the time. Always carry a water bottle with you. And at first I didn't, and then I realized, yeah, I'm thirsty now. I need some water. So um, yeah, I always bring bring some water with you. It just it it's dry. I think I don't know what it is, but. It's not humid and, and human, humid, humid and cold, and and like dark, like in Chicago. It's very sunny out. You're closer to the, you know, sky or whatever you want to call it. You get dehydrated. I hate water. So what I've learned how, what to do is that I have flavor enhancers. There's all kinds on the market, and my favorite is. Uh, pure and it comes in little boxes and inside the boxes there's little um like little tubes that's the only way I'm drinking my water here because I just don't like water and that's about it guys so I hope you enjoy this video and I'll talk to you later